years of experience. Okay. Oh. oh. Whoops. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> Ready? Yep. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the ATP rankings this year. So what we're asking players to do is order the players on the table by the weeks at number one. Oh, God. OK. OK. Yeah. OK. For the most number of weeks. So we're hopeful that you're going to know number one, Novak. <laughs> <laughs> Who did Djokovic surpass? He surpassed Roger, right? Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> <laughs> It's not about humbleness, it's a fact, I'm sorry. How is your knowledge of tennis history generally? Yeah, I don't think it's amazing, but it's okay. All right, number one is easy, Novak. He just passed also Steffi Graf, so he's now number one in men and women. See, number one is Djokovic. One for one. One for one, Sweet. okay. So, number one, Novak. I don't know exactly how many weeks right now, but yeah, he has a lot. Oh, oh. whoops. <laughs> Confidence. I've, bro I've broken it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Right. And I've managed to rub his name off as well, which is a good start. You can pull the eraser off and rewrite it if you want. I can pull the eraser off. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, better, I better spell it right now as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is oh. not sticky. Maybe you just do the work and then hold it up at the end. Okay, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> okay, Djokovic number one. All right, so would be Djokovic Feather. Number two is Roger, which is also pretty easy. Federer, Federer number two. Yep. I'm gonna say Roger too. Okay, two for two. Okay. So Roger is number two, and then it gets more difficult for me <laughs> because I'm not sure. Three. I'm not going to do very well at this, am I? This is hard. Maybe Connors, Connors number three? Mm. Number three must be Pete Sampras. Yeah. Sampras? Sampras? Yes. Yeah, Sampras would be yes. number three. I'm going to go with Sampras on three. Is yep. that right? Yep. I don't know. You are bang on. Okay. Yep. Correct. Okay. Sanford? Yes. There we go. <laughs> That's where I start guessing, I guess. Go with Rafa four. Nadal? No. Yes, and that is a key one to get right, Andy. Is it? That's a key one. <laughs> I mean, okay. isn't that key for you with Lendl? Well, well, oh, well <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. Then Lendl? Yes. Yeah. Lendl's okay. your man. I guess number four, Ivan Landl. Yes, yep. Then uh, it will be Landl. Yes. Um, and then I'm thinking... Then, uh, then, then, then. I got two options now. It's either Connor or Borg. Connor or Borg. Um, um, hmm. Okay, then, uh, let me see. Do we have another American now? You do have another American now. It should have prevented me. I would do my homework yesterday. Even though Borg won more slams, I think Connors was world number one for longer. And you said both of Connors and Nadal are coming soon. So number five, Connors. There you go. Yes. Connors? Yes. Um, let me go with Connors. Yep. Number six. This is really hard. Bjorn Borg. <laughs> Am I taking a really long time or is this okay? I'm okay with it. I'm You're looking okay around at your general media day schedule. I'll be quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm, your quite, I'm quite keen to get it right. Fine. It's Rafa. I think it's hard. I mean, Borg finished playing early, but when he was playing, I mean, yeah. he was always... He was always there. Right. Rafa six. Yes. Number six, Nadal. Yes. Yes. Nadal? This is so hard, it's so annoying. Borg seven? Borg number seven? Agassi seven? No. No. Now is it one of those two McEnroe? Yes. Yeah. It's, is it McEnroe? No! That's so. That's such a shame. Well, that, can I move that to the side because yes. I'm obviously now that's wrong. We'll revisit. Um, yeah. 
Ah, uh, match point. Agassi and Borg. There's only eight weeks eight. between Borg and Agassi. Yeah. Really? So that, that's a tough one. Eight weeks? Eight weeks. So it, this is a bit of a toss-up. I think Borg beat him. Yes, he did. To number it's eight, Borg. Borg number eight? Oh, no, I do know why, but I'm going to go with Borg. Mm, number nine, I would say Agassi. Yes, very good. Yeah. Agassi nine. Agassi number nine. Good amount of Americans on this list. Would you like to be on that list one day, Ben? Yeah, I think that'd be that'd be nice. It's a nice club to be part <laughs> of. Yeah, pretty good list to be on. I know Hewitt is last. That's for sure. I mean, it, I would I would love to be last on that list, to be honest. Like, I would do absolute respect to Hewitt. I would love to be last. Number 10, Leighton. And here in number 10. <laughs> it's okay. I think you came in as champion on this. Really? No one else did it faster. All right. Yeah. Years of experience now, on the which... tour. <laughs> Sasha, well done. That is perfect. Was it? All it only correct. took me half an hour. Not too bad. Not bad at all, Daniel. Did anyone do it like straight away first try? Uh... Andy Murray did. Andy Murray only got one wrong. Yeah, and he... Andy must be not the first time he's doing no, this. So. Exactly. I mean, it was the first time. I, think. Yeah. I was quite happy with yeah. that. Yeah, I'm I... giving you a nine out of ten. It was only one. Okay. Yeah, Matthew Murray was the only one. Yeah. yeah. Solid, Andy. Thank you. A, it's a good question, though. I like it. Good, thank you. Ben Shelton, it's harder for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's younger. Uh, I think my ATP history knowledge <laughs> can definitely improve, but I, I thought I did all right. Uh, better than the last one, so I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm sorry I, I took so long, but... And broke the board. Yeah, and broke the board, yeah. yeah. Thank you.